We're following a developing situation in Clifton this morning. Our morning reporter, Katarina Krasafis, is on scene at the Stinker gas station where hazmat crews have arrived. Kat, there seems to be a lot going on there. What can you tell us? Yeah, Jen, that's right. Hazmat crews are on scene right now with the Grand Junction Fire Department, and they do tell me that we have some new information. They did kind of take a look at that gas tank that was hit. I'm going to step out of the way to kind of show you exactly what's going on so you get a better idea of it. But basically, that semi truck over there just kind of crashed into this fuel pump. And as you can see, um, we don't really know why the truck was going there. I think that's the question that everyone has is why was the truck coming around there in the first place? But Unfortunately, those with the fire department are not really sure of that, so we are going to bring you that information once we do find out an investigation is underway. But basically, basically the saddle truck, the saddle tank on the truck was ruptured when it bumped into that gas tank right over there. There were no injuries, so thankfully no one was injured. And at first they were not sure of the volume of the gas spill, but now they're actually estimating that it's going to be under 50 gallons. They thought that the diesel tank was a lot bigger, but now that they have a closer look at it, they say that at most the spill should be about 40 gallons. So not looking too bad, as bad as they thought. At first they were estimating 50 to 100 gallons, so that's definitely a lot smaller. Um, right now they say that the, obviously once they move the truck, there could be more, but they're pretty sure that that is around the estimation. The gas station is closed right now, so as you can see, the Sinclair gas station right over here in the Stinker store right next to it is closed. A tow trunk is also on the way, so there's going to be a tow truck here. Hopefully they're going to figure out a little bit more of what's going on. Um, again, not sure what caused the crash, still investigating what's going on, and that investigation is underway by the Sheriff's Office. First on the Western Slope, Katarina Chris Office, KREX 5 News.